What is up guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about the differences between Windows 11 and Windows 10. Let's get started. So first let's take a look at the start menu. Starting off with the start menu, Microsoft completely redesigned the start menu for Windows 11. The live tiles are now gone, instead we have pinned apps that we can move around and in order for you to see all apps, you have to click all apps button. Instead of being in a folder, Windows accessories are now part of the app list and Windows administrative tools, Windows PowerShell and Windows system folders are now all in separate window when you click on Windows tool from the app list. At the bottom of the start menu we now have recommended section with the list of recommended apps, however Windows didn't give any insight into the logic used for displaying the recommended options. At the bottom left side now we have all our account settings and on the right side we have power options including sleep, restart and shutdown. Documents, pictures and settings are now removed but you can add them on the right from the settings menu. Now let's talk about the taskbar. It's now centered instead of being on the left even though you can move it to the left in the settings. You cannot pin it to the left, right or top of the screen like in Windows 10. If you do right click, now we have taskbar settings as the only option compared to multiple options in Windows 10. Now let's talk about the general UI updates. First off, the default font has changed from Seago UI to more modern looking Seago UI variable. No more sharp corners in Windows 11. They went with rounded corners for most of the elements including the previews and notifications. The animation in Windows 11 has changed from minimizing and maximizing the windows as well as for switching to full screen mode and got a lot more fluid. The icons get a complete redesign pretty much anywhere to stay consistent with the modern design. The default wallpaper changed from an old Windows logo to the modern looking blue balloon. For themes, Windows went from 4 default themes to now 6 in Windows 11, even though you can download other themes from Microsoft Store. The context menu got redesigned with the most frequently used options being on the top, such as cut, copy, paste, rename, share and delete. Unused options such as paste are completely removed instead of grayed out if we have nothing in the clipboard and only reappear when we do. Now we have show more options button at the bottom that basically brings the alt context menu which means most of these actions are duplicated in here for some strange reason and I feel like Microsoft didn't completely figure out all the design flow for the new menu that's why they just give us a button for the complete uh, old menu. The startup screen is now centered and the password field is dark instead of white. The background color on turn off is now black. Instead of the accent color is the background in Windows 10. The Windows open in accent color is now going to be either white or black depending on the mode but it won't pick up the accent color like it was in Windows 10. The edit boxes in Windows 11 now have accent underline instead of a complete box having the accent outline. Going next to quick settings and notifications. There is no more action center in Windows 11. Wi-Fi settings, volume control and battery are now clamped together and clicking on it brings up quick settings where you can adjust brightness and volume as well as have different control tiles for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and more. If you do right click inside of the panel you can add or remove these control tiles. Notifications are now separate and shown above the calendar when you click on date and time and they are not shown on the side panel anymore like it was in Windows 10. Now let's go and check out widgets. The news feed from Windows 10 is now called widgets and is now shown in the panel on the left side when you swipe or click widgets button on the taskbar instead of being on the right side of the taskbar. You can customize which widgets you want to see and reminds me more of the mobile experience with Android and iOS. It also has a search bar that opens up Edge browser. The next feature is Snap Assist and Virtual Desktops. Snap Assist in Windows 11 has got a lot easier to use with snap options shown when hovering over Maximize or Restore Down button. It also got a lot smarter to identify other open windows and offer snap suggestions. Snapped windows can now be restored separately or as part of a group. Windows 10 does not have this feature, or virtual desktops are now easier to access and switch between with the desktop icon located on the taskbar. Now let's talk about the multiple monitor setup. Multiple monitor setup has got a lot better with Windows remembering the configuration of multiple windows open on different monitors when you disconnect and reconnect the monitors. Definitely a good progress bridging the gap between Windows and Mac OS in that aspect. Now let's talk about settings. Settings menu also got a complete redesign with options taking up the whole screen which reminds me more of a tablet experience similar to Android or iOS. It does feel more modern and more organized with equal size options as well as some new animations that feel more fluid. 
Now let's talk about the touchscreen. With Windows 11 tailored more towards tablet experience in my opinion, the touchscreen experience got a little bit snappier. The Windows resize is now faster and more fluid than on Windows 10. Swiping from the left will open up widgets panel and from the right will bring notifications and calendar. Keyboard is more responsive and you can customize it with different colors from the settings menu and change this key size. And that was it for this video. I tried to cover major changes for Windows 11 and of course there is a lot more. Uh, so if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more stuff like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you all in the next one.